Let's see here. Understanding this, Paul says, and do not count him as an enemy. He says this elsewhere as well, and I can't remember the verse, but the same intent. This person is not an enemy. It's just that you need to isolate yourself from him and him from the church because he's not an enemy. What is occurring here is Christian discipline, not warfare. This person is not holding to sound doctrine. He is misusing scripture or has been misled concerning scripture and has come to faulty conclusions about an issue. This, in turn, has led him to lollygag around and not working, and such a person is to be treated as, isn't to be treated as an enemy, but as a misdirected brother, okay? And that's the way he's handled it all the way. You know, he's saying, if you don't work, you don't eat, okay? That's not being harmful to the person. That's being good to him. He is going to go out and he's going to get a job and he's going to learn to be responsible. If you just allow him to do what he's doing, he's never going to grow. He's never going to be productive and he's going to sit there and, you know, sponge off of the church forever. He's never going to be a sound person. So when you say, if a person doesn't work, he doesn't eat, you're helping that person. Okay, And once again, that's not speaking of people that can't take care of themselves. That's not speaking of invalids and people that are incapable of doing something or another. Okay, That is speaking of people that just sponge off of others. They go from one place to another and they are never productive. They take advantage of every person around them, but they never help themselves at all. Don't deal with people like that ever. Okay, um, uh, They're lollygagging around and not working. Um, let's see here. Um, he isn't uh, to be treated like someone who is actually hostile to the faith. Rather, we are to admonish him, Paul's words, admonish him as a brother. you got to stop this. We've got to cut fellowship until you're willing to get a job, until you're willing to stop talking about the rapture every five minutes because the Lord says we're not going to know. This is what we're supposed to do. Admonish means to correct, counsel, or exhort we are to urge such people to turn and look for God's best in their lives. Rapture date setting doesn't qualify. One misses out on life when he spends all of his time speculating about the next prophetic event to occur. It just is not healthy. It damages everybody around him. And so we just need to tell that person, I'm sorry, you're going to have to just be put in the back burner in this location until you stop it. Proper work habits are interrupted, family relationships suffer, and other people are brought into the same inane pass of futile speculation. None of this should occur, and such people are to be properly admonished as brothers to give up this avenue and pure sound doctrine. Pursue sound doctrine, I'm sorry, and to give up this avenue and pursue sound doctrine. Mm -hmm.